Hello, good day, my name is Jacob. Today's class is a short practice. If you like these classes and would like to see more, please hit the red subscription button. It will notify you of all my newest releases. If you really like my videos and would like to support financially, there's also a PayPal link in the description below where you can donate. Let's start today sitting up nice and tall and closing the eyes. Allow the sounds to be around you. Use those sounds to reflect internally and start to connect with a deep, deep breath. We're breathing in and out through the nose. With the eyes closed, bring your hands to a prayer position. And I invite you to find something you're thankful for today. Maybe it's that you got out of bed. Maybe that you get to see someone you love. Or you get to eat a yummy meal. Any of these things could be big or small. With an inhale, feel that sense of gratitude. And exhale, send that out into the world. Let's do that one more time. Big inhale. Fill yourself with a feeling of gratitude. And exhale. Slowly open the eyes. Exhale, push out through the palms. And inhale, arms float up to the sky. We're straightening the arms as much as we can. Some of you might be able to straighten them more than me or bring the hands further back. If this is too intense for your shoulders, you can also place your hands to your shoulders. Using any external stimulus to bring you back to the internal. So I'm feeling the wind, the breeze on my skin. And that breeze is reminding me to deepen my breath. I haven't forgotten about you. Two more breaths. With an exhale, let's arch over to one side. Find an arch. Keep the chest facing forward. Big, big breaths. Root down through your bum cheeks so you're not lifting one big bum cheek off of the chair. And inhale, come back to center, lengthen, and then exhale over to the next side. Inhale, coming back to center. Exhale, extend your arms out to the side, hands same height as the shoulders, and then without dropping the hands, bring them straight back, opening the chest. Maybe your hands in a bush like mine, you might need to adjust. Two more breaths, keep lifting the heart. With the exhale, bring the hands to your chair. If you are all the way back, you may need to slide forward slightly. Push down through the hands, lift the chest, shoulders back, bend those elbows. Keep lifting the heart. We're finding a little back bend here. You could lift the chin slightly, but keep the gaze forward. And exhale, release. Come to the edge of your chair if you're not already there. Make the feet wider than your chest. Inhale, arms come up. Look up to the sky or to where the fingers are pointing. And then exhale, folding forward. If you need assistance, walk your hands down your legs. I'll show that in the next round. Inhale, bring your hands to your shins now. Look down between the toes. Make the spine as long as you can. And then ragdoll. Exhale, round the spine, drop the head. Inhale, we're coming back up. You can use, do this without hands on the legs or walk the hands up the legs if you need that assistance. Exhale, hands to heart center. The second round, I'm going to show a little bit of an easier variation for those who need. Inhale, arms come up, maybe just halfway up or hands to shoulders or to head. And then exhale, we're folding forward. You can walk down the hand, hands down the legs here. Inhale, hands to your shins, looking to toes. And then exhale, fold forward again. We're coming back up with the option to walk the hands up the legs for support. And then arms come up as high as is right for your body today. Exhale, hands come back down. Coming back to the first variation, if you can do it. Inhale, arms float up. Maybe a little back bend, offering the heart upwards. And then exhale, folding forward. Inhale, long spine, looking to toes. And then exhale, fold forward, drop the head again. Inhale, let's bring yourself all the way up. 
keep the hands extended or hands on shoulders. And let's twist now. So I'm finding a rotation to the torso. Looking over to one side. Inhale, you're coming back to center. And then exhale, we're rotating to the next side. Again, if this is too much for the shoulders, hands to shoulders, inhale back to center. I'll show that variation. Exhale, twisting to the right. Inhale back to center. And exhale over to the next side. Inhale to center. Exhale, we'll twist to one side. Place one hand to your knee, other hand either to your hip or to the chair or to the back of the chair. Inhale, make your spine longer, and then deepen the twist by bringing the gaze as far back as you can. Maybe you can look behind you. Three breaths here. Inhale, we're coming back to center, and then exhale, twisting to the next side. Hand can come to knee or back of chair or to the hip or to the side of the chair. Inhale, you're making that spine long, long, long. And then exhale, twisting it. And inhale back to center. Let's place our hands to the side of the chair. This one's a little bit dependent on the length of your arms. If you've got long arms, it's a little bit easier. You're pressing down as if you're trying to lift your bum. It's okay if the bum doesn't lift, but we're just trying to work the strength of the arms. So I'm pushing, my bum's lifting about a, an inch, a few centimeters and back down. You could just focus on shoulders coming away from the ears. So I'm pressing the shoulders away from my ears, pressing down with the hands, feeling the arms, the shoulders, the chest engaging, maybe even shaking a little bit, and lower back down. Let's do three more like this. Pressing, some of us might be able to lift the bum, but we're not loose using the legs. This class is not about the legs, it's all upper body. And lowering back down. One more like this, press up. And back down. I lie. Let's do one more. So we're pressing up. And lowering back down. Good. Inhale, arms extend. Exhale, bring one arm underneath the other. And then either catching the hands, if that's possible. Some of us will need to catch the shoulders. And we're lifting the elbows. Either variation. If, if your hands are like so, then lift the hands up to the sky as well. Send the breath to the back of the heart. And then exhale, we're bringing the elbows towards our belly, rounding the spine, dropping the head. Three breaths in this curled position. And maybe you have someone mowing the lawn or a weed whacker nearby you. Again, these are reminders to stay with the breath. Inhale, we're coming back up. Look at what hand is underneath, and we're going to switch sides. Send the arms out to the side and then switch sides. You're catching either the shoulders or the hands. If you're catching the hands, turn the thumbs to your face and lift the elbows. Send the breath between the shoulder blades. Big, big breaths. And then we're rounding. Drop the elbows towards the chest. Drop the head. Three big breaths here. And inhale, bringing yourself back up. Let's extend our arms and do some circles with the arms, yeah? Start with circles about the size of a dinner plate. Listen to the shoulders. Don't ever push it past what feels right. And then let's make it a little bit bigger, maybe the size of a car. Again, you may be close to a bush or a wall and need to turn a little bit to make space. And then big, big circles, as big as you can go, listening to what's right for your body today. Maybe recovering from an injury, you need to be a little extra compassionate and kind. And change direction, still big, big circles. And then a little bit smaller car tires or maybe a truck. And then a dinner plate. And then let's do a donut, mm, donuts. And then a quarter or a dime, tiny, tiny circles. And exhale, release. Roll those shoulders up and back. Big, juicy circle rolls. And then change directions. And 
will come into our neck. You can hold on to the side of the chair with one hand. The other hand reaches around and catches the opposite ear. You're not pulling, just drop the head, ear towards the shoulder. If you want a little more traction, pull down with the arm below or push down into your chair. Two more breaths here. And inhale, come back to center, changing sides. I'm wrapping around with the arm to catch the opposite side of the head. Don't pull, just drop the head. Create some traction with the lower arm, pulling that shoulder away from your head. And inhale, coming back up. Place your finger to your chin. I'll show you the side profile. We're pulling the head straight back without dropping or lifting the chin. Straight back, double chins and release. This is just a guide. Pull it back. You don't have to stick the head back out to meet the hand. You can just release to neutral. Let's do three more like that. Pull it back. And release. Pull it back. And release. Last one. Ultima vis. Pull it back. And release. Let's place the hands to the back of the head. And you're dropping your chin. We're not pulling here again. Drop the head and the elbows. And inhale, bringing yourself back up. Rub your hands together. Start to go a little faster, create some heat. Once those hands are red hot, go a little faster, press a little harder. I want you to close your eyes and place the hands on the eyelids. Now the heat to transfer. And then wipe out the brow. Sit up nice and tall. We're going to close with some breathing exercises. Breathing through the nose. Exhale. Inhale as much as you can. Fill the belly and lungs. Pause at the top. And then exhale everything in the body. Pause at the bottom. Inhale, fill your belly, fill your lungs. And hold it at the top. Exhale completely. And hold the breath out. Relax. Inhale. Feeling full capacity and pause at the top, shoulders relaxed. And exhale. Pause at the bottom of the exhale. Inhale. Inhale a little bit extra and pause. Exhale. And pause. Inhale. Fill your belly, fill your lungs. And pause. Exhale. And pause. Inhale. And pause. Exhale. And pause. Breathing in and out through the, the nose. Bring your hands to a prayer position. You can open your eyes. I hope you enjoyed this practice and are having a wonderful day. Namaste.